Hello, I'm Dr. Brad Holmberg, co-founder of InvisalignDoctors.com. This tutorial is an abbreviated version on how to prevent a poster open bite from occurring during Invisalign treatment. The full version of this tutorial can be viewed on our learning website, InvisalignDoctors.com. Have you ever seen this at the end of one of your Invisalign cases? I have because this is one of my cases. Why did this occur and what caused it? This is a question I've asked myself. What caused a posterior open bite in my case and did I overlook something? Does covering posterior teeth in plastic cause intrusion of posterior teeth? I've researched this and still do not have a definitive answer to this question. It seems reasonable to me that if a patient clenches heavily on the plastic, some posterior intrusion could occur, but not the degree that you see in this case. Could a more likely cause be anterior occlusal interferences? I would say in my case, definitely yes. So let's start talking about how do you prevent a posterior open bite from occurring Preventing a posterior open bite requires applying special protocols to the initial clinch check setup. These protocols will help prevent premature anterior contacts at the end of treatment, which is the primary cause of a posterior open bite. It's a good practice to create some excess overjet into clinch check setups. Now, this is especially important in deep bite cases and where anterior teeth display lingual inclination. The upper right image shows the anterior bite at stage zero before any movements. Note that the bite is deep and there's anterior retroclination of the upper incisors. The lower right graphic shows the anterior bite at the last stage of the clinch check setup. You can see that there is excess overjet programmed into the treatment plan. Now this is the clinch check overjet. So here's the before and after photos of the case in the previous slide. This is the case where you saw there was excess overjet programmed into the clinch check. This was after the initial set of aligners. There was no posterior open bite. There were no posterior open occlusal contacts. The anterior bite was ideal. Nice, even contacts with cuspid guidance. Now, a posterior open bite would have resulted if I wouldn't have incorporated some excess overjet into the treatment plan. How do you obtain this one to two millimeters of excess overjet in ClinCheck? So you can increase the overjet in ClinCheck by performing one or a combination of these. Lower IPR, leave some upper spacing, anterior intrusion of either upper anterior teeth or lower anterior teeth or both, and by proclining upper anterior teeth. Usually I use a combination of these. The use of ClinCheck Pro's 3D controls is the preferred method to add these to a ClinCheck. Here's the same case that I've been showing you along. Now this is the, I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate how I would set this up differently. Now this case is the one that had the bilateral posterior open bite. Now this is a spacing case and she has small teeth. So the original treatment plan was to go ahead and close the spaces, and that looks great. Notice how the anterior bite looks perfect. But you saw from the photographs before how there's a wide open bilateral posterior open bite. So what I would do is I would go with the 3D controls here, and I would go ahead and set this up so that it wasn't like this, like there's a little excess overjet. So one thing I see is that these are really small teeth. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click and add spacing around the lateral so that I can add some composite and make them more normal width. Now when you add the spacing, you can see the real-time effect using 3D controls. Notice how some overjets creating the anterior teeth are moving out a little more. So this, again, the reason for using the spacing in this case is that she has very small lateral incisors. Not paid laterals, but very small teeth.
So by doing that, you can see right away, just from adding the spacing and correcting a tooth size, resolving a tooth size discrepancy issue, that this is one way where um, you can create this excess overjet. And this is what I would like to see in this case. If I would have done this, I would have not, I would not have had the problem. Thank you for viewing this tutorial. Consider joining our community of Invisalign doctors on InvisalignDoctors.com. This tutorial and many more can be viewed in their entirety. Personalized case assistance is also available on our site.